Welcome to another video showing the CPM cartridge together with my 80 column card adaptation. As you can see, we have some files. Let's load this little file here. I hope you can read. The screen is pretty bright. Yeah, better now. The VIC2 ship is blanked as I redirected all the output from the CPM to the 80 column card I had to change the adapter I end up using a round chip to read the code the read and write addresses so I split the addresses between read and write in this way I could prevent the, the problem I was having before that he always perform a read before a write and since I'm using different addresses, one for read and another to write, even if uh, the hardware issues another read before a write, it will, it will be ignored by, by the decode. And with this, I have a clean control over the card, so I can write on it without garbage. And it's working. I changed the BIOS. It's a nice thing that Commodore provided the BIOS for the CPM and I implemented uh, a layer Sigler ADM3 uh, protocol on the CPM Let's see here what start doc let me see takes a while to load it's normal from the SD to IEC interface and I had a problem with the BIOS because it's pretty small and you can only use six sectors and that took me a while to, to write the code that must be small enough and I had to remove some some code I removed the strings, the all the Commodore strings. Also, I removed the printer routings because I ran out of space and I don't have a printer, so I need to use WordStar. That's what I did. And here it goes. I can use the control keys like a normal CPM machine. Let's do some text here. We can write here. Commodore caps lock is awesome. And if we press Ctrl B to reform the, the, the no, it's not Ctrl B. Apparently, it's something wrong. It's Ctrl B to reform. Oh, I didn't press Ctrl B, sorry. Yeah, but he ended up reforming. I don't know what he did. Ctrl B again. Yeah, now I fixed my, my paragraph. So let's move. And the scroll works. The Lair Sigler, it's, it's pretty dumb because it doesn't have insert and delete rows. You see that it, it, it writes all the rows again, but it works. It's simple. It's it's the one that I could fit. It doesn't have highlight. It doesn't have smart operation, but at least I can use a real application on my Commodore 64. And what, what really baffles me is that 
Commodore made the CPM without any support for cursor, for nothing. The, the terminal is pretty dumb, just 40 columns, no cursor support. So what, 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 what were they thinking? Like, uh, what are you gonna run with it? Only Microsoft Basic would be useful. Nothing <laughs> besides that. You can't run uh, any spreadsheet, text editor, nothing. Ooh. Only command line tools like COBOL compiler or whatever. But yeah, so with this, let me show you the, the connect card. And I have my, I spent four hours rewiring these, these chips here to make my, my 80 column card to work together with the CPM. The VIC2 is still blank and I can use WordStar now. Finally, <laughs> a decent CPM application running on Commodore 64. How cool is that, huh? Yay! Mission accomplished. We can type more here. Then you can return to main menu. It's control K kill. Wait. Yes, Abaddon, Abaddon. Takes a lot of time to return. And if I quit, it will reload to the CPM, which is on a disk. If it's not, it just hangs up. Hangs on its incredible dump. Another flaw to this. If you just put a a normal disc, it just hang. So in fact, you should never should never have a, a clean these empty discs. And that's it. Since my cursor is dead now, something kill it, but it's okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.